welcome back everybody to another episode of Future Hiking in Skyrim. This is later on in the morning, um, after our dawn raid on uh, Uttering Hills Camp where we caught most of the people in bed still. And, um, well, I suppose with Sven the Vicious and Lydia, his ever faithful house car. Okay. What we're going to do now, what we're going to do, here we go Lydia, um, well, oh, somehow I've got this letter or whatever to say there to search this Talos thing out east of Crater Rush, Crush Rock. So since we're here, we'll just keep on going south and we'll go and have a look at this thing. It's in my journal for some strange reason, someone must have told me about it. And then next we've got to go to Rifton to... Um, uh, catch, what's the name, Kajago, and, um, so I don't think I want to go that way, that long way, I think I might, we'll just cut across here, go across the river, and then go across the wasteland here and join under the road up here, uh, and it might drop into that north wind, whatever cave on the way, I'm not too sure. Okay, anyways, well, that's my name for the day. It's still early in the day because I want to be back in Windhelm because we're st I still got money on the room. Alright. Uh, let's see now. We're we facing the right way. Oh, uh, no. I've got your back. Alright, let's go. Well, here we are. There's a Tello Shrine here. This is life. The struggle is Ooh. what reminds us to draw breath. Uh, wait for the auto save. What a nice little spot. Ah, oh, Lydia. She really gives the horse a hard time. Okay, oh no, there's a, um... Oh, you like that, Lydia? You can come and sneak away here and, uh, have... be hidden from the world, no one would know we're here. Still here. Where's... Sean, I... Kinda. Of. Oh, offering bowls. I can understand why, um, why I got top of scent here. Yes, the place can sleep. You yeah, can have two bunks here, except there's a little bit no, wet. Never comes here. Can have uh, two sleeping bags. Uh, Still uh, here. That's dry there. I can have it near the door. Still here. Cook. Be rampant, tell us followers. All right, well, I found it. Maybe there's someone here. I'm not too certain why we had to come here. Yeah, it's one of these, it was one of these random no things that I'll someone says life. to you and you don't really know what they mean. There's a chest up there. Still here. Understood why people pray to this oh. man, the one they call Dragon of the North. When they kneel before this altar, what they pray for is servitude. 
A dragon has no sympathy for mortals. Its very nature is to dominate. <laughs> Dragon or mortal free, which allows us all to choose our destiny. You mean the illusion of free will? For there are only two kinds of choices in this world submitting to one's desires or defying them. Who are you? Why do you despise dragons? My name is Morrisine. I was born in Morrowind, and through my veins flows the fire of the Red Mountain itself. That fire burns with hatred for all who seek to destroy us. Whether it is the dragon of the north or the dragons in the sky, they will all perish. All right. What skills do you possess? Like any dragon slayer, my preferred weapon is the bow. The one I use is enchanted with fire, and every arrow burns with the rage of my homeland. I say. Well, seem to know a lot about dragons since they've been extinct for some time. Extinct to you, but I have dealt with them all my life. Every night I close my eyes, I see fire. Um, well, what brings you here, then? I was headed west to Cradle Crush when I came across this shrine. Then I saw you. My previous companion didn't make it past the river. I wonder why. Um, well, why are you passing through giant camps for, then? The camps serve as bait. Dragons have big appetites, and mammoths are a heavy meal. <laughs> it's ironic, really. A dragon's strength comes from his compulsion to dominate, his desire to kill. Yet it's that very hunger that makes them I'll play my part. Uh, Well, if this dragon descends on Cradle Crush, I'd w be willing to help you slay it. Normally, I'd laugh at such a suggestion, but for some reason I'm inclined to believe you. Interesting. Alright, if you're that confident, then let's head on over to Cradle Crash Rock, and you can prove your bravado is warranted. Well, there's no freaking dragon at Cradle gotcha. Crash Rock. Lydia, I think we've got involved in something here. Up in Winterhold have been trying to figure out how many dragons there are in Skyrim. Well, you're following me. Ah, oh, what's in here? Mercenary armor. Ah. The giant camp is just east of the shrine. I could smell the burnt skiva from here. East. Um. What crater now? crushes. That way. You hear all this talk about a war? You're a friggin' mad woman. What do you want to go and take dragons, um, giants for? The suicide. Got nothing against giants. Damn! No sign of the dragon. Mammoths <sighs> must be out grazing. Well, if I can't have a dragon, I'll set her for a giant's head. I'm right behind you. Lydia, yeah, we're in a big shit. Come here, come here. Um.
Is that it? Let's do one. She's that mad woman still alive. Sorry, Lydia. I wasn't going to get anywhere within swinging distance of those things. of the Red Mountain, fire runs through our veins. You're a mad you woman. You yourself well. I could use someone like you by my side. Um, at this present moment, sorry I'm not interested. Your loss, Hunter. But it doesn't matter. I have business with innkeepers I must attend to. Yeah, right, right are you? My aid, that's where our paths will cross. Beyond that, you'll find it. Serious. Nah. I like that cow, I really need it. Got so much to do today, I haven't got time to go and skin a cow and can't carry it. I didn't think I'd be out killing dragons this morning. A bit. Uh, I'll take that, 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 uh, that. I'll need to bathe thoroughly to get this stench off me. There's certainly one wacko woman. Oh, look, they got this alchemist here. Uh, Lydia. Can you carry some of this, please? Uh, all right. Lead, I'll follow. Um, I'd like, really like to take that cow. Damn. Um, oh, because we're near here. Oh, let's go. Ever onward. I should have grabbed that elf. Um, we were gonna go a little way down here. Hey Lydia, how about the relaxing lifestyle these people I've got? You know, you can stick an inn in here and tell everybody how good the waters are for you. You know, if you have a big soak and stuff like that, <clears throat> and it's really healthy for you, it'd clean up. Ah, oh, I better stop dreaming. I feel like going in there and having a good soak for about a couple of hours. Oh, well, better get started keeping the day rolling. Skooma dealers. Ha <laughs> hmm. bathe thoroughly to get this stench off me. Oh, 
Hello. Greetings, brother. You look weary. I have something to help you relax, if you're interested. Um, what are you talking about? The finest skooma, the sweetest moon sugar, at a fair price, of course. Mm, nah, just give me what you have and we both walk away from this, all right? Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Never should have come here. <clears throat> oh, shit, Lydia. <clears throat> I was just about to snot him and then you moved right in front of me. What do you got? It's no easy you had the two-hander and... And the thing. <laughs> I'll take that. That, 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 that. And that. Alright. This is life. Struggle is what reminds us to draw breath. <laughs> Struggle reminds you not to sell screamer on street corners. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Ah, the Kajit camp. on that, a bit of action. Um, it must be a bit dirty listening to me voice. Lydia. I've got your back. Great, thanks. Well. I'll need to bathe thoroughly to get this stench off me. <sighs> Hi, Akari. So many refuse to talk to us. They call us thieves and smugglers. <laughs> I am glad to see that you are not such a one. All right. Uh, what do you got for sale? Take a look. It's no easy thing to make a living in the wilds of Skyrim. I'll get rid of this. Um, I was thinking about giving it to uh, Lydia, but you can swing a um, sword faster. That takes all your, most of your money. That's what I had on me back of the stupid horn arrows. Uh, Orcish bow 86. Got anything? Oh, I'll get some more, some more, more of your sugar cane off you. Books. No, I don't need that. I don't really need no oil because I can make it my own. Ah, oh. we're referring to steel armor. Right. Um, so I can still say some more stuff. I'll oh, sell you that, um, Orkish bow. And, um, three glass arrows. And, uh, I should get rid of that stupid thing. I don't need one of them. Being reinforced gauntlets. Oh, Bosma. Oh, no. No, you ain't got enough for that. Imperial boots. That's it. Alright. Thanks a lot. May your road lead you to warm sands. Yeah. I'm going back up north where it's cold. That'd be really nice. Okay, yeah, well... 
nest near they know I'm gonna get the dark brotherhood after me here we go this guy's gonna be be able to help me because uh, rumor was he could help me get uh, win him hi Kajaro it is always watching for thieves and pickpockets uh, I have your aim alert there it is ah home if you ever need the skills of a Khajiit warrior by your side, I would be honored to travel with you. Until then, here. This is for you. In thanks. All right. Um, no, I must be, I must have to see someone else. Uh, you support my campaign to be High King? Great. Might be someone else in this caravan. So you got the caravan? Yes, I was hired to protect the others as we walk the roads of Skyrim. It is a thankless task, and I would rather be back home in elsewhere. But I have little choice. Akari freed me from a prison in Cyrodiil, and now I must repay my debt to her. A word of advice, my friend. Do not mix gambling and drink. Taken together, they will empty your pockets of every septum. Oh yeah, I know that. Um, well... Kajaro told me on the side that um, I have to speak to the caravanners up at uh, Windhelm. They just obviously they're fobbing me off. Oh? The longer we travel the roads of Skyrim, the more empty this land seems. Did you support my campaign to be High King? No. Alright, so, um. Hello. Yes? Well, you won't either. I hope that you will come to do business with us again. Okay, yep. We gotta go. What time is it? Oh, it must be midday, sun's up, up and down. Um. We'll go and speak to him again. Ah, oh, come on, Lydia. We could just go here and uh, sell the stuff that we've got. Uh, but we'll just go back because, um, because I'm, um, yeah. Um, all right, well, we should end this episode here now. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'd like to catch us all back next time. See you later.